Hello everyone. In this video, we will see Peterson algorithm for solving practical section problem. So in Peterson algorithm, actually, it has suggested that every process will use two variables. One variable will be used to specify their intention that they want to enter in their critical section that is known as flag and another variable which will decide which process will enter in its critical section. So let's have a look on Peterson algorithm. So every process actually execute this code. So if we look at here this is the code for process i. So this flag i this actually uh, provide that process i wants to enter in its critical section so we can say this actually a intention this variable is actually providing a intention and this is a boolean variable so it can have value true or false and the another variable turn actually this is the main variable which is, will decide which process actually will enter in its critical section so every process actually giving a chance to another process first so first line process i actually setting its intention specifying its intention that it is wishing to enter in its critical section so it will set this flag true so flag i true now second thing this process actually give another process a chance to execute so it will set this turn variable to j so it means uh, if there is another process j also running at the same time this turn variable will be set to j and that process will run first so these two instruction first one will provide the intention and second one will provide which will enter in its critical section now this line uh, so if this condition is true like if another process also wishing to enter in its critical section in that case flag j also will be true because that process also will set this variable to true and if turn also equal to j it means if this process has set this variable j before setting turn variable to i by the another process so in case if these two conditions are true this loop will become an infinity loop this will keep on executing checking condition again executing checking condition again so there is no operation so we can say this loop is actually infinity loop if these conditions are true now if any of this condition is false in that case execution will continue and process i will enter its critical section once the critical section is done it will set its intention to false that now it has executed the critical section now it's not uh, interested in critical section again so here we are setting its intention here before remainder section and uh, later we are having remainder section and this process actually keep on going so this Peters uh, algorithm actually suggested for two process so we will see how this algorithm will provide a mutual exclusion like when one process is executing in its critical section how another process will be prevented so we are uh, considering one scenario here let's say process I start executing its code so it will set its intention it will specify that it wants to enter in its critical section so it will set flag i value to true and let's say code process j also executing at the same time so process j also set its intention to true that process j also wants to enter in its critical section so process i will set variable of flag i to true and process j will set flag j to true so both flags are true now process i will set this variable to j and let's say process j also executed this instruction and it will set this variable to i so here if you look at the condition flag j flag j value is true but turn value what is the turn value turn value is i because process j actually updated this value at the end so turn value is not equal to i in that case this condition will be false and in case when the, this condition is false execution will continue and process i will enter in its critical section so this red actually is specifying that condition is false and 
process i start executing its critical section now we want to see what happened with process j so process j actually also having a loop in that loop we are considering flag i so flag i value is true and if turn value also equal to i which is true in that case this process j will stuck in this loop so it will prevent process j to enter in critical section while process i already is in critical section so process j actually will be stuck in this loop and at the same time process i will uh, execute its critical section now let's say process i is done with its critical section execution so when this is done it will set its flag to false so as soon as this process will set this flag to false here this condition will become false so it become false and process j will come out of this loop and process j then start executing its critical section and once this critical section execution is done a process j also set flag j to false and then remainder section will be executed so peterson's solution is actually a simple algorithm using two type of variable one variable which is specify intention of the process and second variable will specify which process is allowed to enter in critical section at current time now in order to be correct if this uh, in order this uh, solution is correct so for that that solution has to follow these three properties first property mutual exclusion is preserved uh, what is that it means at a time only one process can be allowed to enter in its critical section so how is that so let's assume the both process actually executing in their critical section and how it can be true if flag j and turn j one of them will be false so let's say turn value of turn is i so in that case this will be executing its critical section but here we are assuming turn equal to i so in that case when turn is equal to i this process will be stuck in this loop okay and it cannot enter in its critical section so mutual exclusion property is preserved and for bounded waiting and uh, progress so while uh, if a pr process j is waiting for its turn to enter in critical section so when this process i will be done it will set this flag to false and immediately process j will start executing its critical section so there will be a bounded waiting there is no indefinite waiting and uh, there will be progress as well progress uh, requirement says that if uh, a if no process is executing in their critical section and if some process wants to uh, execute in their critical section so in that case process which are not in their remainder section can decide which process will enter so in that case whenever uh, one process is executing in their critical section after critical section they will set this flag to false and it will make another process to enter in their critical section so progress requirement also satisfied so this is a simple algorithm which follow all those three property but the problem with peterson's algorithm is that there is busy waiting like if one process is prevented to enter in its critical section how it can be done if this these conditions are true that process will stuck in the loop that process will keep on executing again and again and again so there is a busy waiting so this is peterson's algorithm thank you very much for watching